Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 9 recaps and analysis, and this video is for the last trio of games in the 1 p.m. window today in Week 9 between the Falcons and the Panthers, the Bills and the Chiefs, and lastly, uh, the Titans and the Rams. And starting off with that a NFC South matchup between the Panthers and the Falcons, won by the Panthers 34-10 to at home. Um, you know, the Panthers came out uh, defensively, sort of thought exactly what you thought thought they would do going into this game against the Falcons. Uh, holding the Falcons to 10 points, able to turn Matt Ryan over, one touchdown, three interceptions for Matt Ryan, including a pick six to sort of seal things in the fourth quarter. The running game pretty much non-existent for the Falcons as it has been pretty much all season. Steven Jackson, 57 yards, a little bit more involved today, uh, but certainly not up to the level they expected when they signed the veteran this offseason. Obviously the absence of Julio Jones and Roddy White really affecting Matt Ryan. Uh, he went from being one of the top echelon MVP candidate quarterbacks last last year uh, to having the worst year probably of his career. Seven interceptions in two games. Uh, the Panthers, look, I thought uh, Cam Newton threw two interceptions, threw a touchdown pass to Greg Olson, threw two interceptions to the two rookies for Atlanta, Robert Alford and Desmond Trufant. Cam Newton made plays with his legs when he had to in the fourth quarter, made plays with his arms as, arm as well. Brandon LaFell with a very good game today, which is encouraging to see. Opposite Steve Smith, he was a, a recipient of some luck, though. I thought the the turn, the play of the game, really, up 17-10 in the fourth quarter. Um, Cam Newton hits, uh, you know, Brandon LaFell. He burn, he pretty much burns Asante Samuel, but give Samuel credit. He recovered pretty quickly, forced a fumble from LaFell. Robert Alford goes to pick it up and run with it, and in the process, ends up kicking it right back into the arms of LaFell, who had fumbled the football. The Panthers have that ball on the 8-yard line now. They punch it in and score a touchdown. That makes it 24-10. to Then after that, you had the Matt Ryan pick six, and it was pretty much downhill from there. So, you know, that, that was definitely the play of the game, but the Panthers outplayed uh, the Falcons in all phases today. The Panthers go to uh, San Francisco next week uh, with that record of 5-3, and three. Um, and now uh, Atlanta 2-6 and six host uh, the tough Seahawks um, at the Georgia Dome next week. Guys, the second game here, the Chiefs and the Bills. Uh, this game sort of unfolded probably the exact way you thought it would once you found out Jeff Toole was going to be the quarterback. I mean, you know, the Bills had over, you know, 400 yards of total offense. The Chiefs barely had 200 yards of total offense, but the Chiefs win 23-13, largely on the heels of two defensive touchdowns, two interceptions of Jeff Toole passes for touchdowns, one, a 100-yard return by Sean Smith for a touchdown, which was you know, a crazy play if you saw it. It looked like he had Stevie Johnson wide open, uh, tries to throw the ball in the middle of the field at the goal line, which can lead to some trouble sometimes. It gets returned the other way for a touchdown. A TJ Graham fumble in the fourth quarter. Tom Bali scoops it up and recovers it, returns that for a touchdown. So, you know, the turnovers kill, killed the Bills today. The Chiefs, look, they didn't get after the passer today, which they lead the league in sacks. Um, they did not do a particularly good job stopping the run today. Uh, they let up a big touchdown pass from Jeff Toole to Marquise Goodwin. But in the end, look, Alex Smith didn't turn the ball over, played terribly, but didn't turn the ball over. And again, it was enough for the Chiefs to win the game. And you're seeing that sort of develop as a trend here, which I think is going to come to an end because after the bye now, they have Denver, San Diego, Denver after after their buy. So I think their buy is at a good time to sort of get them right. I know that might sound strange because they're nine and zero, but I think they have to get their level of play a little bit better here heading into this three game stretch, all games within the division, and the Bills now. Um, you know, we'll see how their quarterback situation unfolds here. Um, if Thad Lewis is able to come back next week, but they'll now travel um, to Pittsburgh. And just a disappointing game for the Bills because one, they definitely could have won, um, but again, weren't able to because of the reasons I outlined. But I thought you had to like what you saw from C.J. Spiller today. Certainly a step in the right direction for him. Guys, the last game in this video here, the Titans and the Rams. The Titans win 28-21. to both teams ran the ball very well today. Uh, the Titans led by Chris Johnson, who had 150 yards. The Rams led by Zach Stacy, who had 124 yards. Both these teams did an excellent job running the ball. Uh, passing the ball offensively, nothing too great. I mean, these uh, these two quarterbacks um, were, were average. Uh, Kellen Clemens looked like he was doing a better job 
uh, then Jake Locker heading into the fourth quarter as far as taking care of the ball, converting on third downs. Um, but then you get a big Kellen Clemens fumble in the fourth quarter uh, with the score tied at 21. And, you know, you had a situation where the Rams tied it at 21, okay, held the Titans, got the ball back. Then you get a Kellen Clemens fumble in the fourth quarter. The Titans drive back the other way, get a Chris Johnson touchdown run, make it 28-21. to And, you know, that was really the closest the Rams got to the victory here. They were absolutely shredded with their in their rush defense. The Titans almost running for 200 yards today. Um, when the Rams looked like they turned a corner um, on defense, especially their rush defense, they weren't really able to get to Jake Locker as much as they were able to get to the quarterback last week. Remember, they had seven sacks last week. Uh, did not approach those numbers today. Um, again, I thought this was a, you know, a game that was pretty much decided by that fumble, that Kellen Clemens fumble. It's a shame because he actually played pretty well today. Um, but again, uh, you know, the, the Titans now will travel. All right, to Jacksonville next next week as they move their record uh, to 500, very much still in the wild card race in the AFC. And you know the Rams now head to a tough stretch of their schedule that starts with Indianapolis uh, and Andrew Luck next week. Guys, let me know what you thought of these games. I've already recapped the other three games of week one, so be sure to check those out. Um, I'm going to recap the four o'clock games here in a couple minutes as they start to to wrap up. But let me know what you thought of these three games. Be sure to hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview and recap every game, every week. I, I do some videos on the news items, and I do some opinion stuff on the news of the NFL as well. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening, and have a great night.